so for the 4th of July, I went and asked a friend if we could go four-wheeling. Um, and we did my first time like really on a ride. It was very exciting. I'm really exhausted though. There were a couple times I thought I was maybe done for, but I was like, no, I'll just go into it thinking I can do this. I'm gonna be okay. So that, you know, I was okay. <laughs> it helped that I got some good instruction beforehand. That's the one that I rode. And uh, Bob here is gonna help explain a little bit how it works. All right, kids. This is considered an ATV, an all-terrain vehicle. Most of us in the South call them four-wheelers. They have a motor, they have four wheels. It's like driving a car except for you're straddling it like a bike. It has, the newer ones have an automatic transmission, but the older ones, like we're gonna demonstrate here today, have a standard transmission. And up here, there's a layout of the transmission configuration. The very bottom on the shift is reversed and you have neutral, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. Now the way this works is you go down, that would be reversed. Let me make sure it's in reverse. It's in reverse. See the red light's on? The red light's on says it's in reverse. That would be if you wanted to back up. Okay. First notch up. And if you listen real close, you'll hear it go. You hear it click up. That means it's in neutral. Light went off. So it's no longer in reverse. And this means we can start it now in neutral. We'll try it. Okay, motor started. Make sure the gas is on. This is the throttle. Over here, it's like a little lever on the side of the panel. And your Miss Carbine here, she rode this all over today up on the mountains. All right, then you have an up gear, which the first one's first one's low, alright, the first one's first gear, now you notice I can pull it forward now, okay, if I want to go back to neutral, I click back down and listen to the engine, nothing moved, the bike didn't move, so it means it's in neutral, if I go back up, I've got low again, click back down, I have neutral again, go one more down, and I now have reverse, I can back up. There's a brake, there's a handbrake on these. There's also a foot brake over here. This foot brake is for the rear brakes. When you're riding an ATV, most of the weight's to the front. If you use the front brakes a lot, you could pull the thing on its nose. By using the rear brakes, you're using all the weight of the vehicle to help you stop. In these lower gears we're talking about, the engine's holding you back, okay? The engine's holding you back at the lower gears. Say you're in fifth gear and you're running down the trail and you see you're gonna have to come up to a place to stop. So what you do is you start shifting down and let the bike slow itself down by using the restriction of the motor. The same thing is in reverse. You're coming to a hill and you've got to climb it. You wanna shift down into your lower gear so you can climb that hill. If you feel the engine bogging down, in other words, you're in too high a gear and you feel the engine, you're having to give too much throttle, in other words, you're having to mash too hard on this, then you're in too high a gear. Shift down to a lower gear so that the bike can use its power, the motor, to do what it's supposed to do. And you'll be surprised how high you can climb or how steep of a place you can climb in the lower gears. Now, once you level out and you're on a level spot, and you feel the engine revving too hard, means you're too low a gear, click up. In other words, you shift up to get to those higher gears. Once you're into the higher gear and you know it's running fine, you don't have to be in the highest gear to run on the trail. <clears throat> you just have to be on a high enough gear that the engine feels comfortable. You can hear it. Basically, that's it. If you can steer, the only thing you gotta learn now is shifting, starting the motor, and running the throttle. Once you get those concepts together, you are trail ready. So Bob just explained to you how the gears work, how to turn the sign and everything. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride this on the street so you can see what it actually looks like and sounds like when I'm shifting gears. Uh, although, you're really not supposed to be just riding out on the street. 